Okay. Oh, after my sixth birthday, when Paul made my two front teeth go back and I lost my two front teeth. Uh, the day after that, uh, Vinny slammed my head on the desk when I was drawing up several different pieces on several different pieces of paper. And, uh, I don't know, he's still, he found annoying. So he slammed my head in on, I don't know why he did it, he just slammed my head on, on the desk where the paper was. And, uh, I coughed off blood on the paper and, uh, then he, uh, stapled the, uh, paper with a staple gun about this long of a stapler. With this long of a stapler. And it kind of pokes my brain. And I locked the bathroom. And I, um, had, um... So Vinny couldn't get in, I locked the bathroom so Vinny couldn't get in and hurt me and I uh, had the stapler remover in my fingers and I gently yanked the stapler out of my skull, out of my brain because it was really bothering my, irritating my brain and my skull. So. Mom didn't want to take me to the hospital. Oh, remember the time the Benny ran me over with his truck though three times? Uh when I one was when I was riding on my twin motorcycle and the other two times I was riding the bike. One was, was train wheels, one was without train wheels. Well mom didn't want to take me to the hospital because Vinny said so. And mom says didn't want to take me to the hospital this time because Vinny says so because it's too cheap. I mean, too expensive, he said. Remember the time, um... The time when I had that tumor in my brain, I got removed and I couldn't walk or move any of my upper body. Well, I had to go to physical therapy until I was six. Mom took me there and AJ took me there. Vinny was supposed to take me there also, but he just didn't want to. So mom would come home on the days she was supposed to drop, take me, he was supposed to take me to physical therapy after getting the tumor removed from my brain. Because doctor's orders, and um, this was only the week days the day that AJ had to go to school and mom dropped him off. When mom would come back after dropping AJ off, she would yell and argue with me for hours and then uh, take me to the physical therapy and not pick AJ up till really late. Like at nine o'clock in the afternoon most of the time. Sometimes it would be eight and sometimes it'd be seven. And the earliest would be uh six thirty I think. So yeah. Yeah. Speaking of physical therapy, when mom um was diagnosed with ALS when I was nine. The doctor advised her to go to physical therapy. But Vinny didn't want to take her after taking her only one time. That was when I was nine. He took her only one time. And dad was paying for mom's life insurance. I think that's what it's called, so she could go to physical therapy for free. And this was also, that was the truth, and uh, what Vinny said was a lie. Uh, this is what he said. He said, Dad has all the money and, and, um, and doesn't want to pay for Mom's physical therapy. 
or take her to physical therapy. And those were all lies from Vinny's mouth. She said that to me and AJ when we were both in the same room. He said that to me more often than AJ, I think, because I was in the house more often. And that's all.